all three cheetah are no match for the brute strength of a hyena. They cannot afford the slightest injury. A mere broken toe would throw off their fine tuning and affect hunting success. So the family grudgingly backs down. The cheetah move off to watch from a safe distance as more hyenas begin arriving on the scene. It's better to hunt again than to risk a brawl with nature's most ruthless gang members. The cheetah's loss, however, is a necessary gain for the hyena clan. Back at a den away from the plains, three sets of pups await the arrival of their parents. Each female in the clan gives birth to two black pups, who gradually become lighter and spotted after two months. There is serious rivalry amongst hyena siblings. What appears to be playful tussling is actually an establishment of dominance between and within each pair of pups. Even as infants, hyenas can turn into deadly killers. Sometimes, while still in the den, the stronger pup will kill its brother or sister to reduce competition for mother's milk. The dry season is now moving into its third month and things are getting tougher for the impala and many other species of the plains. Water holes and rivers are drying up rapidly. The death rattle of the impala goes up like a flag, alerting wandering hyenas to the kill. They'll stop at nothing for a free meal. And with a bite that can crack bone, they make deadly enemies. Manana is in mortal danger. Seconds after Manana makes the kill, spotted hyenas surround her. Alone and outnumbered, she can't afford to fight. The hyenas, on the other hand, can't help fighting. A strict hierarchy gut feeding. With so many mouths, underlings must be kept out by force. Soon, the feeding frenzy turns into a riot. <laughs> <laughs> 